This is week nine of the 2013 season. Coach Bob Pecknold and the Demon Deacons are six and one overall, three and three in ACC play. We are coming off of the absolutely massive victory last week at home against our rival NC State Wolfpack. Now last season we met the Wolfpack with a chance to clinch the ACC Atlantic and earn a trip to the ACC championship game. We met the Wolfpack in Raleigh and NCC just blew us out in that one, a no contest, really rough loss for us. So we had this game circled on our calendar, really wanted a chance to get some revenge in this one. And not as late in the season, but this was a game with massive Atlantic implications. Uh, we were some of the top teams entering this game. Both of us ranked just a huge matchup here hosting the Wolf Pack, and we sure got a barn burner. Played this game in rainy weather. Not as many points as some games this season. Bit of a defensive struggle at times, but the Wolf Pack got on the board first. A 37-yard run from Callahan, 7-0 NC State after the first quarter. We responded with a one-yard touchdown run from Bryson Dodds, tying things up. It's a bit messed up here. For some reason it has Dodd scoring twice, but did not get in the end zone on the seven yard run. Punched it in from the one yard line. 7-7 seven, seven here in the second quarter, but the Wolfpack responded, driving quickly down the field. Perry just Sproles, 12 yard touchdown pass made it 14-7 NC State. We responded as well. An excellent drive here. We got ourselves in a situation where we had no timeouts left, just seconds remaining in the half. It was a bit of a gamble, but we decided to take one throw to the end zone. If we got, if we got tackled in bounds, the clock would have ran out, we would have had no points. But took a throw to the end zone and it paid off big time, hitting Ross with a 16 yard touchdown pass. Tying things up at 14, going into the locker rooms. The third quarter, Bowman of NC State nailed a 49 yard field goal to give the Wolfpack a 17-14 lead. And the score stayed that way for a while. In the fourth quarter, an excellent drive here. We converted on a fourth down during this drive to keep things moving. And then just a terrific pass, 44 yards from Myrick to Burgess. A fullback angle, just able to buy some time on it, making a perfect throw, burning the defense. Just a phenomenal play there to give us the 21 to 17 lead. The Wolfpack were driving the ball down nicely, looking like they had a chance to take the lead themselves. But Adrian Lucas getting a huge INT for our defense, giving us the ball back. We were able to run the clock out from there, and we get ourselves a phenomenal victory, pushing us to 3 0 in ACC play. Uh, you know, the seniors really wanted this one, and we all wanted this one. Getting revenge on the Wolfpack. From the beatdown last year, keeping our ACC Atlantic hopes very much alive, staying in first place in the Atlantic. Such a huge win there. Let's go. Absolutely. Taking a look at the ACC standings now in the Atlantic. We are 21st in the nation coaches poll, 6-1 overall, 3-0 in conference play now. Coming off of that epic four-point victory against the Wolfpack, we will be on the road at Duke, another rivalry game for us coming up here. Clemson is number 17 in the country, Coach is full. They are 6-1 overall, 4-1 in conference play. Coming off of a 20-point victory against Boston College, they will be on the road at Navy this week. NC State is number 18 in the country now, 6-2 overall, 3-2 in conference play. Started off the season 6-0, they dropped their last two games, both close losses. They were both divisional losses, so quite damaging to their hopes of getting back to the ACC title game. They have a non-conference game at home this week against Marshall. Maryland is 1-6. 1-3 in conference play, coming off of an overtime loss uh, against Virginia Tech, their last time in action. They will be back in action now at home against Virginia. 
Florida State, disappointing season for the Seminoles. One and six overall, 0 and four in conference play. They are back in action now on the road at Georgia Tech. Their last game was a 21 point loss against Miami. Boston College is also 1-6 overall, 0-5 in conference play, losing their last six games, including on the road at Clemson last week. They will be on the road at Virginia Tech, looking to get back in the win cup. Look at the Coastal Division now. Look at the season that the North Carolina Tar Heels are having. They are all the way up to number two in the nation. 8-0 record, 5-0 in conference play. The Wolfpack, uh, I mean, the Tar Heels. <laughs> Tar Heels blowing out the Cavaliers at home last week. To get to 8-0, they will be hosting an FCS opponent. Looking to move to 9-0 on the season. Miami, the Hurricanes are number 16 in the country. Taken down Florida State on the road their last time in action. They will be at home against New Mexico. Georgia Tech is 4-2 and two overall. Last time in action, getting a 12-point win on the road at Duke. Back in action at home against Florida State. Virginia Tech, 4-3 and three overall, 2-2 two two in conference play. Coming off of a 7-point win on the road at Duke. They will be at home against Boston College for their fifth win. Virginia, 4-3 and three overall, 1-2 and two in conference play. They are coming off of a rough blowout loss last week against the Tar Heels on the road. They will be on the road against the Terrapins this week. And Duke, 4-4 four and four overall, 0-4 oh in conference play. Started out 4-0 this season. They've dropped their last four games, including a seven-point loss at home against Virginia Tech last week week they will be hosting us at home against number 21 Wake Forest so that is the ACC stands we're going to look at the top 25 now the BCS rankings have come out so that's what we'll be looking at from now on Alabama continues to roll they are 8-0 Tennessee giving them Close game, the closest game of the season for Alabama, a 5.121-16 over the Volunteers. They've got themselves a big match their next time in action. They have a bye this week, comfortably number one, but yeah, things getting, Alabama comfortably at number one here. Things quite interesting beyond that. North Carolina, number two in the country. What an unexpected and strong season from the Tar Heels. They should have no problem getting to 9-0 as they host an FCS opponent. Wisconsin, right behind them at number 3, 7-1. Big victory for the Badgers in overtime against Iowa. They will be on the road next time in action. They have a bye this week. USC is 6-1 overall. Coming off of a victory at Arizona State, they will be on the road at Oregon State. Trojans are number four in the BCS. Utah is number five in the BCS rankings. They are coming off of a 20-point victory at home against Washington. They'll be at home against Arizona State this week. Georgia, number six in the BCS rankings with a 6-1 and one record. Back in action on, at home against Florida. Fresno State. Very strong season for the Bulldogs as well. Fresno State from the Mountain West have themselves at number seven in the BCS rankings. They will be on the road at Nevada, coming off of a solid win at Texas State. Nebraska is number eight in the BCS. They will be on the road at number 22, Michigan, coming off of a blowout victory at Minnesota. Oregon is number nine in the BCS rankings. They shut out Arizona 26-0 on the road last week. They will be a bye this week. And Iowa has dropped their first game of the season in overtime, a heartbreaking loss for the Hawkeyes at Wisconsin. They will look to get back in the win column at home against Northwestern. So that is the top 10 in the BCS rankings. Here's a look at the rest of the top 25 BCS. T 
TCU versus Oklahoma, ranked matchup there. Here we are, we are number 16 in the BCS. So, yeah, a bit unsatisfied with our ranking in the coaches poll, but BCS is the ranking that really matters. So, number 16 looks a lot better here. Let's go. Here we go, week nine. We've got ourselves another rivalry matchup. We will be on the road at Duke taking on the Blue Devils. Duke is coached by Brent Mathis, his sixth season as Duke's head coach. Duke is still looking for their first bowl appearance since the 1994 season. Blue Devils program having a long drought since bowl appearances, since winning seasons. Last season, a hard-fought game, a 24-17 victory for Wake Forest in Winston-Salem. And here we go, see Duke is on a four-game losing streak. Well, we are on a four-game winning streak. Wake Forest also on a big winning streak in this rivalry series. Winners of the last 13 meetings against Duke. Duke leads the rivalry series overall, but 13 in a row for the Demon Deacons. Duke's last victory over Wake Forest game in the 1999 season. So, yeah, definitely we will be the favorites here on the road, but yeah, Duke they're not a they're not a bum team. Four and four record. Last season they had a couple huge upsets. We know they can be dangerous. They played us within a touchdown last season. We gotta bring it here. We're moving up in the BCS rankings. Come on, we gotta stay unbeaten in the ACC play. Let's bring it, guys. First, a look at the never changing settings of the dynasty. Nine of the 2013 season, number 21, Wake Forest at Duke. Let's go. All right, all right. Duke gonna be wearing their regular home uniforms. The rivalry game, so we'll mix it up a bit here. Yeah, white jersey, black pants, white socks, black Nikes. We're all set. Let's go out to Durham. Stadium in Durham, North Carolina, named after one of the great coaches in the history of the sport. Today, these two teams getting set to square off. Plenty of paint will be spots on those headgears as we go head to head in Durham. That's going to wrap it up here in the studio, but we'll be here to keep you up to date on everything else going on in college football throughout our game. It's time for ESPN College Football. Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit on the call. We're in Durham, North Carolina, where the air is full of football frenzy. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler. My partner is Kirk Herbstreit here in the booth. Aaron Andrews joins us on the sideline. We're ready for an exciting game. Today's game is presented by Dove Men Plus Care. Be comfortable in your own skin. Our matchup is between the Wake Forest Demon Deacons and the Duke Blue Devils. Season and this one has all the makings to 
Here we go for this ACC rivalry matchup in Durham, North Carolina. Two teams heading in different directions right now. Duke on a four-game losing streak. Wake Forest on a four-game winning streak, including that huge, huge victory for us last week in another rivalry game against the NC State Wolfpack. A lot of seniors on our roster. Coming off of one of the best seasons in Wake Forest football history last year. We know we're good. We're having another very solid season. How far can we take it? How high can we climb in the rankings? Can we get to the ACC championship game? Let's go. We are underway here against Duke. He's going to boot that one through the end zone. That's how things will start here. Mississippi State getting victory. State number 25 in the coach's bowl. Let's go, come on. Uglier. The only way it could have is if he took it back to the house. Turnover on the first play. What happened here? We'll do the fake. Yeah, just trying to you see it. We see the defender going this way. They're going off the directions. Just trying to slip behind him. But he's able to stop and reach back and make the catch. Didn't wait long enough to throw it. He just misread it. That's a big mistake. Ugly, ugly start to this game here. Like I said, Duke's got some big upsets last season. It's first and ten. Ball on the twenty-four. Yeah, that's that's the way they would like things to start here. Come on, defense. Bryant looking to pass. That's Duke's play, first play from offense. Going to be throwing the ball away. Is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time he can just throw it away out of bounds. All right. From the 24-yard line. So frustrated about that first play. I don't do that. Ah. Uh. Come on, defense. Waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. He's looking to pass. Cody's able to break up the play. Not able to make an interception, but his effort will prevent a touchdown. It's going to be a field goal attempt here for Duke. Not a real long kick. 38 yards. Oh, Lamb is across, kicks right down the middle. Trying to get a break before he could get a block, but no chance. Kicks right down the middle, and no one to clean it. Yep. 3 nothing here, dude. Alright. Alright, we are not deep at all into the game. 
quick up. We just spared him three points. It's gonna be. I'm gonna beat him by more than three anyway. Let's go. Let's just come back passing me. Not afraid, he's just a mistake. It happens. It's not gonna happen again, though. There we go, that's a lot. Let's uh, throw it out there to Calvin. Lee. That one's more than good enough for the first half. Well, Brad, that is a great play by the quarterback to find his target past the marker to keep this drive moving. And look at the replay of that interception. It did not look like a good pass at all. I mean, He's been threading the needle a lot this year, but just trying to do too much there in an unnecessary time for a player here. We're going to go option. We're going to flip it up to Dust. going to make a move. Get about eight yards. This direction. Nice work there. Keeping Duke off balance. Come on here. We're going to go halfback draw now. Gives Dodds again a bit of a simpler way. Nice blocker up the middle, that's going to be enough. For a first down, we'll go up to midfield. That's a six yard gain on the run for the tailback there. Draw plays work best when the offense has had success throwing the football. The defense isn't expecting run, and when that delayed handoff happens, they're nowhere near the action. From the 50, it's first down. We'll put it out to Wallers. pushed out of bounds at the 42. Well, it's been having a great season for well us. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a nice first little or pass and play. catch there. In second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Dodge is out right now. And hand it to Goolsby. He's going to fight. Not much room at all, but he's going to get a yard. Be third down. Can't risk uh, an injury to Doug. Short yarding situation here. Already Short lost one. Mans here for the season. He was out on the two back. Trying to get a pick up here on third and one. Got it to close, but he's got enough. Let's get the latest now. Not by a whole lot, but enough. The Hawkeyes came into the game. Northwestern blowing out Iowa. I mean, we know Northwestern's a good team. But yeah, Iowa. Dropping in on the game. Second straight. The Hawkeyes are going to fold the game. Northwestern was unranked. They're probably definitely going to be ranked fairly high after that, I would think. So yeah, that's, that's good for us. From the 40 yard line. First down. Are you up to the 40? Rolling out. Dyrick to Fields. No, he didn't jump back right there. You can see that. Yeah. You can see foot did not come down. I'm gonna. Uh, just. It just got up a little bit too early. And then, nope. The ninth play of the drive. Uh, Myra to Fields. Pressure, great job just getting rid of the ball. Not want to see a sack there. From the 25 yard line. Oh, obviously it's second down. Turnover. Good job to avoid those. Just the second and ten now. Uh yeah, we're gonna go halfback draw to Goolsby. Hoping we can get some blocking and we do get some room there. Nice pick up. Which make the third down much more manageable for us. And 
once again they'll come to the line trying to convert on third down. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Very bad pass. Very bad decision to throw that pass. Ugh. Absolutely trying to force the issue. Now, I feel like a lot of times you go for it in this situation, but considering what just happened. Wake Forest is down three and looking to tie it up. There we go. So we at least get some points out of the drive. Made a mistake right away in this game. Ended up costing us three points. Dodging a bullet is going to help us get the three points back. Captain to return for Duke. We're going to bring him down. Three, three is the score here. They'll go to work at the 26 yard line. Oh my. Situation open field, this guy can fly. It's tough to know exactly how to approach that. Obviously, didn't handle it well. Oh my, what a run that was! Oh, I'll tell you what, this yeah, kid is a good one. He's got the moves, the speed, the fight. He's a good one. He's a good one. He's a good one. Yeah, we just saw the replay. 74 yards. Duke at six. And he adds the extra point. Bit sloppy here all around. The first quarter. Nice pass there, Airfields, big game. And he's taken down around the 43 yard line. The receiver never took his eyes off the ball. And even though the defender was all over him, he still managed to play the ball for a big completion. Excellent. First down at 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Taking a chance to what and he makes an amazing catch. Yes. And a little bit too much air under that throw, but this receiver has the bounce you need to bring in those high passes. Another dangerous looking pass there, but obviously this one paying off. Very nice pickup. A touchdown away from Quickly, let me just stick in the air. Just try to, just try to go for it. Have to pull their back on their heels. He drops back. To Fields, touchdown. Yes. And in that 
beautiful ball. Absolutely threatened the needle there. That was another very dangerous throw. Van Meyer being a bit reckless here. It led to some mistakes, some near mistakes. Look at this. He's not open at all, but just putting it where he needs to be in fields, just getting there. Got a foot down, two foot, feet down, maybe. Whew. Big time touchdown. Extra point to tie this game up. <sighs> and then. And he on the extra point. A four play, 74 yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Boy, everything seems to be working right now. Quite a bit of action here so far. Football, the receivers are running great routes. The results are obviously the big plays for the offense. And a 10 10 tie in this game. Eight to the 10. Come on now, defense. He did a huge run for a touchdown in their last possession. Come on, the defense, step it up. And then he looked to run, shot him down there, got him in the backfield. That screen pass. Here comes third and eleven. Third down and eleven. Coming what up opportunities here. we get off the field. We got to take advantage of it. Come on. Brian looking to throw. Under heavy pressure. Oh no! He's tackled the thirty-six yard line. Oh. He was not open, it looked similar to that. He was just meh. Inches away from getting to it, could have had an interception. Uh, 36 yard line now. Burton picks it off! He's gonna take it all the way. Touchdown! Yes! Let's go! And we got ourselves our first lead here. Yes. Oh man. Big time play there. Throwing it up, Burton stepping in front of it, out and out Burton hopping in front of that, and he was off to the races. Big time play. This will make it 17 to 10. Walker, got it. Still the first quarter here. 27 combined points on the board. Wait for it. Okay. Looks like he had some room, big hit there. Half a lose down. And uh, Duke will take over a trail for the first time well, off of that pick the six they just threw. A little better result than that last pick six. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing. This is gonna make the tackle. Brian looking to throw. Uh, 
up-tempo offense. It's back to the line. Ooh, nice work there. Had to go up to try to grab that one. Lucas able to break up the pass. From their own 37-yard line, second down. Adrian Lucas, the hero of our game, defensively in the end, intercepting. Intercepting the pass on the Wolf Packs. Final drive as it turned out. Very clutch play, helping us seal the win. Third and eight now, come on. <sighs> we just seem a little off so far. Something seems a little off all around. Come on. You don't want to definitely do not want to have a layoff, lay down or a layoff. Broussard had a chance for the pick, we weren't able to get it. We're coming off of such a high of the victory last week. Gotta stay sharp, gotta stay focused. It's lacking a little bit so far here. Second and ten, come on. And that's the first down. Bryant to throw. Oh. Back blitz. That's what you get in that corner. I'm going to run it to Anderson. Go to the top of that. It's the first down. So we got a few yards on that here. If you can continue to pick up small chunks of yards like that, you can really start to wear a defense down. This offense has been moving the ball with great success. Here we go, first and goal situation. Oh, whoa, what a huge hit there by Harrison. Let's take another look at that real quick because that was just such a big hit. <laughs> Breaking that one up with the forward Second and goal now from the 13. From the 13 yard line. Come on, Second defense. Drop back to back. And we're gonna throw. Oh! Get it on. Oh, he does a mistake. He just made. Yeah, that was very unfortunate there, though. Tremendous example of the type of chemistry that these two players enjoy. When a quarterback and a receiver are on the same page, good things tend to happen. Yeah. A little flip up there at halfback. We gave him too much space. It looked like we were going to have him stuck potentially at the one. We just hit him and pushed him forward. Yeah, that's not what we wanted to see there. And that is a touchdown for Duke here. We'll be tied with the extra point. Stan Medley, 13 yards. Six 
still just the first point of the game. 17 17. They put up seven points. Up the middle. Last play of the first quarter is a nice one for us. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. This update takes you to Annapolis. Navy on top. Mitch Shipping got a 10 nothing lead there over Franklin. We're tied at 17 here. We played one quarter. This game is all tied up at 17. conference game so we got our own game to worry about here third and two third down again all tied here just past midfield and the stadium is shaking we're gonna look right to now. get on the ground we get some blocking here let's go nice got some blocking dodge gets the first thing Option here to Burgess. At least got room. Big pickup. Gets his legs taken out inside the 15. Get it out there. A lot of room to run along the sideline. Big time pickup for us. Come on. Yard 
yards away here on second down. Uh, first and goal. Okay. Walker with the PAT, it's 24-17. Jump up and grab it. Big game for the Blue Devils right away here, all the way up to the 37 yard line. Right looking to throw it again. No! Catch made, he's able to find some room inside the red zone there. is not getting it done right now. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 19. First and ten. Harrison's going to need him in the backfield. Getting some help. Bringing them down. That's where. From the 20 yard line. It's second down. Anderson on the carry. Maybe you are there. All right, good work, good work. Big play here, third and ten. Let's go defense. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No. Blowing it in there to Brooks. We're able to contact on him right away. Not able to knock the ball out though. He hangs on all the way up to the two yard line. And he doesn't like what he sees. He's gonna change the play. Step up now, it's not too late, come on. Barrett's gonna get on. What was that like a yard? Might pick up a yard there. Second goal now. Come on. Make it tough, make it tough. Now oh, this is a beautiful pass to Greaves, right on the money. Oh. 
It's good. 24, 24. Looking to run, first down, slides down. Slides down to the ground. And he has a huge gain. Yeah, I like the decision-making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks, he sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him, and he takes off. Ends up with a great run. From their own 45-yard line, it's first down. Sorry, shake it off now. Second and ten. Down and ten to go. Ball on the forty five yard line. Myron gets it to cross completion. And they get five yards from that completion. Not a bad play. They gain five yards out of it. They keep moving the defense back. down now and they need to get it inside the 45. Myrick to what? He's got enough first down. And he's tackled around the 43 yard line. I thought there was a chance he'd be brought nice. down before getting to the marker. A great effort there to get beyond for the first down. Run up the middle and first down. Wills and get stuffed. From the 43 yard line, uh, second down. Yeah, we're going to take a timeout here. Don't want to give Duke much time. Clearly, let her run down a bit there. Having confidence in our offense to move the ball quickly the way so things been going there. Ball on the 43. Come on. Let's finish this half out of nice and put it back. Ah. Uh, no. Too much pressure on handling the ball. So we got ourselves a third and ten coming in. We're going to have to pick this up, but we're going to have to get the ball right back to him. 
Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 33. Running for it, got the first down and more. Huge run. You know, Brad, that's the second third down that they've been able to convert on this drive. And this offense right now has really showed a lot of poise to be able to hold on to the football and try to maintain this drive. Yeah, we're just going to take a time out there. They're going to call their second time out. Let's go. First down, 10 to go. All on the 17-yard line. <laughs> A quick throw there, put the street route to Cookie Wallace and go. See how aggressively they want to approach this here. Well, three timeouts, but well, just 20 seconds. One This quarterback right now is in Watch a rhythm. Anderson. Why that has he's to do with dangerous. You can see right now with the reason he's being able to make the, the ball out of his hand. Get it to Anderson. Reese, a big hit. That might be it for the first half. And they'll lose a yard there. Not much going on yeah, there. Dude, get in no hurry. 31-24 lead at that time. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. I'm sure both defensive coordinators will be going back to the drawing board in the locker room at halftime. The Demon Deacons lead 31-24. First half stats here, 288 to 247 total yards, 14 to 9 first downs, 83% to 75 third down percentage, both high, both very high, that's why the score this way, uh, both with turnovers, interception, uh, we had one very first play of the game thrown in it, it's a bad decision making the pass, and then we got ourselves a pick six deep on defense. Uh, big time possession advantage for us to do plays up tempo style and they've broken some really big plays. That's why that mark is 12 of 20, 169 yards, two touchdowns, one INT first pass attempt. Uh, almost had another interception, almost had a couple other ones. Been a bit reckless early on, but made some nice throws. Settled down and we put 31 points on the board. Um, some were defensive. Uh, Bryson Dodds has 40 yards on nine carries. Burgess has a touchdown, punching one in. I'm sure. Cookie Walsh, four catches in a touchdown. Airfield also with TD. That's Henry Reese leading in tackles. Ronald Burton had the pick six, took it back 36 yards. Landon Walker, one of one on field goals. Making the extra points for us. A little sloppy, but not bad from us. Ben Bryant is 12 of 19. Two touchdowns, one INT, 152 yards. Terrell Anderson, 10.5 uh, average, 95 yards, and a touchdown. 
for Brooks, the leading receiver, medley of grades with one catch, both for touchdowns. Ziegler, leading tackler for Duke. Cruz had the INT, first play of the game. Runs with Robert, kicking Will. Yeah, Duke putting up a lot of points. Been back and forth here in the first half. Got ourselves a seven point lead, had a nice drive before halftime. Hasn't been real bad, but it's been a little bad. We should be doing better than we are. We've got to focus on take care of business, pull away here in the second half. We're going to be starting defensively. We're going to have to get ourselves wow, a nice stop. Will it be more the same as we get and then Walker boots it off. It's going to be uh, a couple yards in the end zone. Paul's going to take it out. To the ten, to the and then going to bring Come on, defense, shut them down here. Had a good talk at halftime, made some adjustments defensively. But we focused, we're going to shut them down here. Oh, he's going to keep it. <laughs> so, man. The option keeper just completely burned us. He's going to take it all the way up to the 50 yard line. Big first play of the second half from the Duke's offense. We're shut down on the ground there, second round 11 coming up. Brooks in motion. Two-yard gain for Duke. He's looking to pass. Well protected now. <laughs> There's a flag. What is it? Illegal touching on Craig Ball. It's going to be five yard penalty and a loss of downs so going to cost Duke the conversion. I take another look at that. Come towards the middle of the field. This is number 84, Craig Ball. Rolling up. Yep, definitely stepping out of bounds there. Coming back in, looking like for a moment Duke had a big completion. Said it would be negated from the penalty. It will bring the punt team on 4th and 13. Awaits the snap. Oh no. Shouldn't have let that go. Oh. Unfortunately, we got the bounce into the end zone. It looks like potentially a coffin corner there. We get spared of that. So the end defense doing a nice job forcing a punt. We we'll take over the 20 yard line, 7 point lead here. First drive of the second half. Up on the ground to does a five yard pickup. Second down and five. Ball on their own 25. Uh. to Calhoun. Nice job waiting long enough for him to get some space hitting him. I like the call here. Looking for the big fella here on third down. They have a lot 
their faith in him as a receiver. Right there, he showed you why. From their own 35-yard line, first down. Drive to dive. Oh, there they go. Whatsoever is by a hook. From their own 39 yard line, it's second down. Look at the throw. Oh, Bills is kind of coming back. Not a good look at it. Catch there, but we ended up getting a couple yards. So we're looking at another third down. Here. Chance to go third and four. This place is rocking. Can't switch it. My Rick to Wood catch made along this sideline. <laughs> Well, I was thinking for a moment, did we have an illegal touching penalty of our own? But we'll see right here. Yeah, not not stepping out of bounds, just doing enough to stay in bounds. Great awareness. Going to take another quick look at that. Lester Wood along the sideline. Yep, not even really close. Great job. Move the chains all the way up to about 36. Yep. Let's go, let's go, let's go. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36 yard line. Wait for it. He is up by a touchdown. He scrambled. Oh, to Wood. No. <laughs> That's fun when the offense is clicking. That gives them a hundred yards in the game. Well, this guy is hey, such a big part of this offense. If he wood. doesn't get his numbers, they usually don't have much success. Another big football. pick up in the air. We got ourselves first and goal. This is the eighth play of this drive. Let's finish it off. Come on. Got ourselves a bunch of uh, downs here. Do not do anything too risky. Wallace, catch made. He's gonna fight forward, not quite enough to get in the end zone. Picks up seven yards with that catch. All right. Let's just start that. Let's get one to Dodds here. See if we can get it on the ground this way. Second and goal. About a yard to Bader. Gotta be careful. Block over the outside a bit. Come on. Uh, got it. Exactly what we wanted to do, get ourselves some separation here. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And this is just a booming kick. Beat to the 10. Tackle made the 24 yard line. Their last drive broke down and they punted. it. What do they have in store this time out? They're going to make a comeback in this game. It's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Bryant with the option. Last season was not as high scoring, but Duke just was able to hang with us throughout the game. Ended up winning by just seven points. They're not a bad team. 
Offense is moving here. Really got to step it up here. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Big play here. Keep the momentum building for us. Let's get it started. Oh, they're going to hand it off to Anderson. Oh, my. Oh. Comes across. We're trying to pick out his legs here. Going for aggressive tackles. Trying to get him before he had a first down. That's... That's unacceptable. Defensively... We gotta be better than that. Come on. Charles Anderson breaks another long one. 46 yards. And we're back with him. Seven points here. Nice five play, 75 yard drive. And they put up seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job. Well executed touchdown. Oh, you take it out the end zone. He's to the 20. And they push him out at the 25. Hold up a little bit out on the 25. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. You know, when this defense went over the sideline based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator's got to be this. Myrick to Ross along the sideline. There he goes. Let's go. <laughs> All the way up from first to goal. How about that from a response? Let's go. To the one. Stop punch it in. Come on. Uh, no, we're not able to. Sorry, I've got more chances. I'm going backwards on that play. Come on. Got it that time. Touchdown. Pass along the sideline, huge gate got us up to the one yard line. Able to punch it in, an excellent response. This very high scoring game continues here. We just have a 45 30. No! What is going on? Offenses are just dominating this game for the most part here. Our defense did have that pick six. That was a huge part of this game. There we go. Nice play there. Dropping him in the backfield. Second and 11 coming up. Second down. Sack. Uh, got the pass away. Third and eleven. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. 
Clemson battling back, trailing by three here in the fourth quarter at Navy. The Tigers deliver the perfect connection and a touchdown. So that winds up. And for the Demon Deacons, well, if that score holds up, they're going to have a golden opportunity here with a win to move up in the poll. Yeah, I guess we move up in the national rankings right now, but we prefer Clemson winning that game since we are playing them later. Uh, I just, I don't know, hoping the national ranking a bit, have them higher ranking match. Big time third down here, defense all over it. Clemson, the biggest game remaining on our schedule. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. regular season. Field will be the return man. That game could be for the Atlantic Division. You gotta keep winning, gotta focus every week. Field. Chris Fields, a nice looking return here. And he jumped out of bounds at the 47. We're 21st in the coaches' poll, better ranking in the BCS. The last time Keep out, they winning, were able to see how high you can climb. The air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy, or will they start to move a little bit more on their Focus ground? Game. I don't like what's going on here. That could be a check with me right Audible there. Audible here, gonna give it to Dodds. First play here, yeah, nothing on the ground. Set in the fourth quarter, 14 point lead. Third and very uh, it's been long. Third and twelve coming up. Come on. Uh it's gonna take a chance, get it to wood off. Oh. Not a bad idea, giving the lesser wood an opportunity to make a play. Not able to come down with it. We got it in fourth and twelve coming up. Threw a little bit, balls loose. Reese got it. Oh. The senior quarterback put on a good show, Kirk. Well, he knows this system so well. So no matter what defense you throw it in, you're going to do a good job of reading the defense. And Clemson has the lead over an eight. You know. Let's also see that the offensive line. They've done a really good job of keeping the pressure off of him just long enough to allow him to read the defense. Be able to make the right read and get the ball thrown downfield for big play. This is our football, the 21 yard line. Take a look at this. This is a huge play here. It's Burgess. Boy, has he been making some big time plays for us lately? That ball is out for sure. And Reese hopping on at the 21. Burgess scoring the touchdown, the game winning touchdown. Against NC State. Big play there. We're up to the 21. They'll start this drive inside their opponent's territory. Looking to put this game out of reach. Myron to Ross. Touchdown. Duke's defense just has no chance. They have a lot of holes and we are finding them. Oh, 
Hunter goes 21 yards. Walker adds the extra points. 21 point game now. To their own nine yard line here. Yeah, Duke, their backs are really up the against the wall now. Down by 21 here in the fourth. Second and ten now. Five yard line. It's second down. Drop back to back. Nice. And he's going to come up with a sack. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. It'll be interesting to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive line and challenges them to start playing a little bit. Third and 15 now. Brian looking to throw. Going deep. Broussard picks it off. Picks it back to about the 20. Really nice cover skill shown here this time. That's exactly what you want to see from your young corner. Nice work going up, making the I and T. This one should be ours. Cannot chew clock until under two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. And try to try to please get the clock moving. It's four yard pick up there on the first down. Gotta move the ball though. We've been having success in the air. We're gonna go play it's action. Down, six yards to go. Ball on the 24 yard line. Uh, oh, just gets it off to fields. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 39 yard line. The middle linebacker came on a blitz, which can be very disruptive. Sometimes a quarterback will get happy feet when they see that coming. Not this guy. He's very composed and can deliver under a pass rush. From their own 39-yard line. First and it off. Takes the ball right. Guys, he's going to get up four. Right. Nice pickup. Dodds. Gains about four yards on the play. Second and six. Ball on the 43-yard line. All right, did Fields catch me first down? Around the 49-yard line. From their own 49-yard line. It's first 
down. So Clemson's going to win that game over Navy. Big comeback at the Tiger. Yeah, if, it was a, if it was a conference game, definitely rooting against Clemson, but it's not a conference Less than three minutes in the game. Hope for strength and schedule increase. Third and ten now, we're going to move the chains. That's dangerous. Oh, maybe had a chance with field if we were able to. TCU in a barn burner against Oklahoma. One point lead for the Horned Frog in the loop. I'm running out in that one. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Okay, very, very good news. Nothing serious. Bryson Dog, he's definitely done for the game. Walker to punt. And he's hammered down. Alright, come on defense. Just go to work. At the 17. Focus up here. Play good bedroom ball here. Struggling a bit. You're better than the way we've been playing. Let's go. He's back to pass here on first down. Zach, nice work. There we go. That's how we do it. And Bryant drops seven yards in the backfield. Uh, looking to throw. Got Brooks. Third and seven now. Down coming up now for Duke. They are going to go for it here. They hand it off to Young, the fullback, and he's going to get enough for the first down. And he like he he's seems likely out of reach for Duke at this point, but they are fighting here, able to get enough to move the chains, keep the ball. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I just want to take a timeout. Let's go, get a stop. 
from the 18 yard line. First down. He drops back. Gee. <sighs> Kaplan is able to get into the end zone. Comes the extra point for Duke, making a 14 point game here. A little over a minute in the game. Duke is still going to need a whole, whole lot to happen here at the end of this fourth quarter to come back. But I wanted to see our defense. Gonna stop there. Wow, way too many points this game. Come on, hands team. Come on, 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 come on. Childress grabs it. That should do it here. Because all three timeouts. Going to run it. We don't dog a little bit shaken up earlier. Just get him out. Hang on the ball. Five yards in the ground there. They'll take a timeout. That's their first of the half. Five yards Second away down, from finishing this game off. Bullsby's got it. That's going to do it here. Out this rivalry victory from the 31 yard line. First down, under a minute left in the game. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. Duke Wasn't the best game we ever played. Second down, sloppy for sure. We got a lot of things to clean up. Oh, come on. Bottom line is, we got the victory. We stay in the ACC play, stay atop the ACC Atlantic. He's going to move us up from the higher in the BCS rankings, I would assume. Third down. The quarterback takes the knee, and that's always a good sign. That will be the team. final play of things here. It's a final. High score and winning 14 point victory in the end. Congratulates this young man for his fine performance and his award for player of the game. For the Demon Deacons, a win today keeps the hopes for a national title shot alive at least for another week. And for Duke, this drops them to four and five, and they might have to win out if they want to make a bowl. For EA Sports and my partners Kirk Herbstreet and Aaron Andrews, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. 
Yeah, tough loss for Duke. Um, they just missed out on a bowl last season, and it's certainly going to hurt their chances of making a bowl this year. For us, big win. Uh, staying on beating an ACC play. Definitely um, goal at the start of the season to get to the ACC championship game. This is going to keep us unbeaten in conference play in the first place. Um, and help us move up in the BCS rankings. And I mean, as Alabama's in first place as long as they, I mean, they have a big winning streak going. But things are like pretty much seem wide open besides that second place. Second, the second ranked team right now is North Carolina. And if we get to the ACC championship game, that might be who we play. So who knows how high we can climb. Got to stay focused. Got to win every game we play. Who knows how high we can get. Um, Got to play better than we did here. We allowed, a, we allowed 478 yards total offense from Duke. That's way too much. Fortunately, we got 494 of our own. Had a 21 to 18 first down advantage, 63% to 55 on third down. Picked up a fourth down in the fourth quarter. Three to one turnovers, fortunate for that too, including that pick six. Uh, win is a win, but definitely some things to work on. We're gonna have a hard week in practice. We gotta step up in this performance. Then Marek, 21 of 31, had a rough start, throwing interception first play. Almost threw a couple other ones early on, but ended up having a really nice game. Three touchdowns, 352 yards, zero sacks. Bryson Dodds, 3.0 average on 20 attempts with two touchdowns. Uh, Chase Burtis has touchdown on zone. Goolsby, nine attempts. Eric Fields, the leading receiver with six. Fields, Wallace, and Ross all with touchdowns. Wood with over 100 yards, Roth almost with 100 yards. All right, so good work offensively, except for that turnover, of course. Cody leading tackler, Jerome Broussard with an INT. Ronald Burton with one as well. Randy Walker doing his job with field goals and with the punts. Ben Bryant, 23 of 35, 287, three touchdowns, two picks, three sacks. Terrell Anderson, 169 yards, two touchdowns for him. Big game on the ground. Brooks, the leading receiver for Duke. Kaplan, Graves, and Medley all with touchdown receptions. See the leading tackle Duke struck first. They had the lead in the first quarter. 17-17 after one. Uh, we got ourselves the lead. And we held on to it. Duke hang in there close. We pulled away a bit in the fourth. Duke able to score a touchdown pretty late to make it 14 point deficit. And that is the final score here. Big one for us. Keep our winning streak going, staying unbeaten in conference. Nice win. Let's go, Deeks.